Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I may look similar to another video, but it's because I used the base of that makeup look and added a few stuff that I'm gonna show in this video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, I wanted to show um, the makeup products that I use to achieve the trendy latte makeup look. Um, it's a bit of a mix. I have bronzers, I have blushes, even though I know that you're not really supposed to use blushes, but I'm going to show the blushes and the colors so you might understand. A few lip products, eyeshadows, and such. So let's start. I'm going to start with, I think, the eyeshadows. So, I have the Burn or Brunette. Brunette, I think, Melt Cosmetics palette, and I was in a journey to get this. I don't know why I wanted it so much. Uh, don't get me wrong, I do like it. It's very basic, but it's very pretty, and it works with the the current trend. I did thought about selling it. It was actually on my depot for a little bit, but I decided to use it, and I do enjoy it. It's very soft. I don't know if it's how I'm using it or what, but I do enjoy it. So, yeah. I have the Maybelline New York, Nudes of New York uh, palette. Such a beautiful palette. I actually have the palette for a while. I mean, the palettes that I'm showing are also, I mean, kind of oopsie daisy also the palettes that i'm just gonna use more i mean i want to and i chose them because they are neutral they are neutrals and i also have them for quite a while in my collection but they fit beautifully with this trend i mean you cannot tell me i'm wrong look how pretty are those colors so and I, this quality is so good like if i'm actually i don't think i can say that i'm gonna use up a palette but I don't know if it's gonna expire on me. I don't think it will, but if it w will, I probably will repurchase it. Like, I do enjoy the quality. And if you know what, if we are already on the bandwagon of like more of a drugstore palette, I also have the Essence de Bro. What? No, I'm not, I'm not speaking German. I'm sorry. The Brown Edition. How pretty are those shades? I love the quality, it's not the best quality, like, it doesn't stay on the eyes for that long, it's very soft pigment, but I enjoy those kind of stuff, I mean, not the disappears from your eyes kind of a bit uh, quickly, but let's say it's good enough for me, and with an uh, eye primer, it kind of lasts like a full, uh, full walk day, so I'm happy with it, and for the price, I mean, come on. Uh, in the drugstore price, kinda, it's the Kimchi Chic Juicy Chocolate Melt uh, eyeshadow palette. I'm not sure if it's still available. I think it is. I don't think it was a limited edition, but how pretty. It was also on my Depop, but I decided to keep it because it's the shade that I use a lot. It's more of a warm uh, brown kind of eyeshadow story which is okay as you can see I have quite a lot of them and I do enjoy them but um I don't know I didn't use it a lot and I was like mm, and it doesn't have a mirror but you know what I'm pretty sure I can get my use out of it and it's really pretty and the quality is really good then the last one is also kind of gonna I don't want to I don't know how to say it, like connect us branch us out to the face category and it's in drastically different price range the Shantakai Sunbeam Chicken Eyeshade in Ray it's from their last year oh how pretty a collection summer collection I love the packaging it feels a little bit cheap for Shantakai but actually I have a few products from Shantakai and I wasn't impressed with a lot of their packaging like it's a lot of plastic it's a lot of like lightweight packaging so i don't know but i do like it i love that it's neon and all that i love it and i love the product inside i love this i love it on the eyes i love it on the cheek i just really really like it and 
it's a little more rose goldy coppery for the latter trend i'm aware um but if you want to add a little cinnamon to your latte or whatever i think this is a, a nice choice i think now for bronzers i actually chose only two one is a bit a bit more cool toned but it's not super cool tone on my face so i wanted to include it these ones yeah on camera they both look a more dark and b this one looks super cool tone it is cool tone as i said this is the nabla skin bronzing soft revenge and this one is the kiko milano in the green me i think line a bronzer in sweet honey they have sweet honey in all their lines so yeah but i love them i love their different undertones and i said as i said the skin bronzing from nabla the soft revenge is more like a contrary one but it doesn't pull that cool tone on me and i love the formula it's very soft and whispery and it's hard to do to do it too much which <laughs> i need all the help i can get in that department because i love to do too much sometimes on my face so yeah the next are two blushes and let me explain and my explanation is just showing them to you and then explain it's both of them are from essence i'm not sure if they are available anymore i don't see them and i'm very very sad but i will keep them forever and ever they i think no they're not like the same this one is a matte blush the little more dark one and the other one is a satin uh, blush they're so pretty as you can see they are very brown one is a bit more warm brown is, and the other is a bit more cool tone brown or maybe neutral brown but they are so pretty quality wise color wise everything wise and i think they go so well with the latte makeup like it's just a little wash of color it's not a bronzer it's so pretty i love it and i love blush so yeah and one of the other things that i actually put on my lips is this one it's the nyx butter gloss in is it the fudge mm -mm -mm. it's cinnamon roll and i love this color it's such a beautiful color also added to my eyes a bit more colors from the maybelline one and i love it i love it so much i love the quality i love the scent i love everything about these glosses the price everything and let's jump to the other side of the price range this is the hourglass um oh okay cool the phantom volumizing lip balm something like that lip gloss i'm sorry it's in trace in 105 it's like the beigey color this is really nice i cannot tell you that it's worth the price because it's not it's not i have another color as well um i've seen this kind of a formula from another brand like other brands in general i think a lot of brands do that right now and i love that like i've been here on this hill since like makeup by mario released his like uh, it doesn't call like lip gloss or lip balm right but the the melty lipsticks since he released them I was here waiting for other brands to do the same because I love that kind of t type of uh, lip product. I really do. So I'm happy to have it. But yeah. The other one is Fenty Beauty L Luscious Lip Balm in Latte Lips. I think it's a perfect name. I love this product. I'm not the biggest fan of the smell. I'm not. But it's a beautiful product. I love it on my lips and I love the color, which is the most important one. Then I have this two Milani lipstick in bold color statement matte lipstick in I am worthy 07. It's a beautiful color. It's a beautiful color. It really, if I may say so myself, it really suits me and my complexion. 
it's a brownie shade it's not too cool tone it's not too warm tone it's like perfect on me and when i do the brown shades on my face it's just so it's perfectly it doesn't it isn't too much i love it and the last product is this summer friday mm -mm -mm, lip powder balm in does it have a shade I know it's like, it's not the original, yeah, it's the beige vanilla, it's not the regular vanilla. I love it. I, I really wanted not to like it, <laughs> just because, I don't know, I saw so much about it. And it's not because I'm like anti-mainstream stuff, because I'm really, really not. But it was so good. And I have other colors as well. I just recently bought the poppy one, because I'm really into orange recently. So, yeah, I'm very happy. So, these are the... Uh, makeup products from my collection that I didn't bought uh, specifically, which I didn't bought anything specifically for the latte trend, by the way. All of it I used from my collection. This one are the products that I wanted to highlight, and I'm very happy about this trend. I love browns. I really, really do, and I love these products, and I, I love that I have a reason to use them all. And uh, thank you so much for watching my video. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye!